What's up guys, Shane Stars with Droid Modder X. Today I'm going to show you guys the easiest, quickest way to install Android 5.1 on your Nexus 6 or other Nexus devices. Essentially, if you want to receive the over-the-air update, you'll have to get your phone back to stock. Many of you that follow this channel have a custom recovery. You're probably running some sort of custom firmware and you're looking for an easier option. That's what I'm going to show you guys today. Uh, let's go ahead and get started with this video. The developer Scrosler of Scott's ROMs, many of you know him from his clean ROM work, has released the 5.1 version of his stock build for the Nexus 6. Now there are other stock builds of 5.1 which can be flashed for various Nexus devices. This just happens to be the easiest way to update the 5.1 if you already have a custom recovery and if you have root. You can always flash a stock image that's going to replace your custom recovery with stock recovery. If that's the method you choose, I'll be sure to include a link in the description of how to update your device with a stock image. If you'd rather keep your custom recovery, a custom ROM is the way to go. My favorite, of course, is the clean ROM uh, or the stock ROM builds by Scrosler because he pretty much touches nothing. So he adds root and sometimes he'll deode exit, but that is it. There's nothing changed. This is going to be the official stock build uh, with no modifications. It's going to be just as Google intended. So that's what I'm going to show you guys how to install today. I'll be sure to include a link in the description to his various ROMs for various devices. That way you can flash it on your particular device. So the first thing you want to do is grab the ROM from the link in the description. The next thing you want to do is go ahead and boot into uh, bootloader mode and then into recovery. So we'll just power off the device. Okay, once the device is powered off, we're just going to press and hold the volume rocker along with power and that's going to put us in the bootloader mode. From there we're going to scroll down until we see recovery mode and hit the power button. Okay and then from there it's just incredibly simple, incredibly easy. Once Team One Recovery is launched we're going to go into the install and just verify that our ROM is there. So we're going to install and just verify that the ROM is in fact there. For me it's Shamu Stockroot 5.1 and then the build number odex.zip that is Scott's version there. Uh, your version may be different depending on what device you're using. Uh, obviously it won't be Shamu if you're on a device other than the Nexus 6 so we'll verify that it's there. Next thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and wipe. So go ahead and swipe to factory reset. This is going to wipe your data, cache, and Dalvik and it's going to make your phone totally clean and prepare it for the install. Now one thing you might want to consider doing before wiping is to do a backup. This backs up your entire ROM setup. So if you're currently running CyanogenMod 12 and you want to maybe possibly go back to that at some point, you can click this backup button, swipe to backup. It will back up everything, including all of your application, all of your app data, any text messages, call logs, or anything like that that you have that may be important to you. Uh, you'll always be able to recover that. Also, if something doesn't work out for you, uh, when installing this ROM, you'll always be able to revert back to a known working point of your device simply by clicking restore and then choosing that restore point. So once we have our data wiped, we're going to go to install. We're going to select the ROM that we've downloaded and then we're going to swipe to flash. Now this ROM already has GApps included so we don't have to add GApps. We don't have to flash those separately. They are already there. So we'll go ahead and swipe to flash. Give that about five minutes to flash. Once everything's finished, we'll just simply go back and reboot system. Okay, and if all went well, we should be greeted with a lollipop boot animation, which we are. And the boot animation hasn't changed in 5.1, so the old lollipop boot animation is the same one that you'll see here. Whenever you go into settings and about phone, you'll see that you are now running Android 5.1. So anyways, guys, that about wraps it up for this guide on the easiest way to flash Android 5.1. If you enjoyed it, be sure to click the thumbs up button. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.